together with Chef Ryan, we decided to try something a bit unusual. And we went more like on the direction of South American flavors. So since both of us, we love this kind of like a guacamole Mexican. So I say, why we don't try a guacamole risotto? So we have made this risotto, always use only Carnaroli risotto, imported from Italy. And we cook always in the classic Italian style. And we finish it out with a mix of properly, very tasty, sour guacamole. And then when we serve it, we top it with a slow cook, Barney organic egg, a canel of creme fraiche on the side, some fresh chili, and some nachos chips on the side. The beef chicken itself comes from Australia. What we do, we braise it like a classic brasato, like done like an Italian way. And then what we do, instead of finish cooking it in a pot, we sous vide cook it. So at least we can control the exact temperature for exact length of time. After sous vide cooking, we finish up with some red wine jus. Aside from that, as side, we do a mashed potato. This instead done in a very French way with a lot of butter inside, very rich. And we finish up with some uh, truffle crumb, some truffle paste, and a bit of fresh truffle when it's in season. And uh, how we serve, we serve with a mix of sauté mushroom. For the sauté mushroom, we mix with some portobello, some shimiji, some oyster mushroom. We sauté all together. We put in a plate with a bit of rosemary on top, a canel, a generous canel, I would say, of uh, mashed potato, beef chicken on top, a bit of garnish, a bit of truffle crumb around. But that, that definitely is one of our best sellers. I would call it more like a comfy food. My second time. I came here once and I love the food and coming back again. Yeah, very good. Service is good, wine is good, food is good. That's why we are back. How we created the menu, usually we just uh, write wildly, me and Chef Ryan, so because it's a collaboration between the two of us. Then we sit together and we run through the dish and we see how we feel. And we see if something is missing. We always try to have a to have a good variety. I would say here the nice part of like creating menu at ODP is that we have no boundaries. Telling the truth, I wouldn't call it really Western fusion. I would call it more like an international food. But because actually we are not really trying to mix East and West, like to crisscross the Yes, we do it sometimes, but it's not because that's what you want. We just want to use the best of every country. Okay, the kale broth, I would say, is not a flavor for everyone, I would say. Because, as you know, like a kale and watercress, they have a very bitter side, so sometimes it may be a bit pungent, but it's definitely, for kale lovers, is is a, like, definitely a pick. Uh, how we do it is a mix of uh, kale broth and uh, watercress broth. We serve it with some quail egg, the quail has been smoked previously with A, and uh, we top it with, uh, with some uh, extra virgin olive oil caviar, some crouton around, and some deep fried kale. Amazing, the kale broth was amazing. The eggs on the eggs, and then the kale, I think it's inside, uh, crispy kale inside kale broth. It was great, uh, something different. The souffle, we have been, we've been having this souffle for a long time already. We are really not allowed to take it off, otherwise our guests they may you know, do something nasty to us about it. So the souffle is done, uh, again, it's a bit an unusual souffle, I would say. It's not a kind of rich, the hard body of it. It's more, mainly made with the Italian meringue inside. We use a, a fresh, uh, pistachio paste, we fold it in, we make a bitter ganache inside with a very small touch of espresso flavor that cut it through all this, uh, like uh, it refresh a bit everything. This is actually my second time, but um, yeah, I really love it. The atmosphere is great, great for brunch for sure. Um, maybe some drinks, I just said a uh, Bloody Mary, it's pretty good. 